Hello colleagues, my name is Susan. I am from Policy and Advice, India. I'm here to talk to you about RBS policies and guide you on what to do on various people issues that you might face. Today, we shall talk about how line managers can address absconding issues within their team. Susan is in a conversation with Ravi, Anil, and Sumit, line managers attending a training program. So, does anyone have any questions? Yes, ma'am. I have a concern. One of my team members, Pooja, has been away from work for the last three days without any intimation. I've tried reaching out to her via calls and text messages, but she's been unresponsive. My team deliverables are getting impacted. How do I manage such uninformed absence? Oh, these are some good steps taken by you, Ravi. Considering she has been non-responsive for more than three days, I would want to know a few additional details. Has there been any history of illness with Pooja? No, not that I know of. Have you noticed any change in her behavior? Pooja has always been an engaged employee. There have been no behavioral issues with her. Okay. Have you then tried to reach out to her on the emergency number? Oh, yes. I did try reaching out to her sister on the contact details mentioned in the HR portal. However, to no avail. In that case, I would advise you reach out to the HR helpline, 7272, or raise a service request, SR, for necessary correspondences to be sent to the employee. You would also need to keep the HR representative informed in case of any response received from the employee to the correspondences. Susan, I have a doubt. I have faced a similar situation in my team, wherein the team member has resigned because of her health and was serving her notice period. Good question, Anil. Can you or anyone else tell me how you would manage such a situation? Well-being is important. Hence, I'll make all attempts to get in touch with my team member. In case of repeated attempts to reach out to her have failed, my right approach would be to engage with the HR representative and send necessary correspondences to the employee by calling the helpline or by raising a service request. That is great. But one additional point that you need to remember is to put stop salary for the period of unexplained absence of the employee. Oh, okay. I'll take note of that. What happens after that? What kind of communication is sent to the employee? In line with the guidelines, necessary correspondences are sent to the employee, urging the employee to contact us at the earliest and explain their uninformed absence from work. Okay. What if, in this case, Pooja doesn't respond to the correspondences sent to her? In that case, we would proceed with the necessary actions as appropriate in line with the guidelines. Remember the key actions. Try to establish contact with the absconding employee for two consecutive days. Call an emergency contact number. Check for history of illness or any recent change in behavior. Initiate an absconding on the third day by calling 7272 or by raising an SR. Raise an SR to stop salary for the employee in case of no communication from employee. Keep the HR representative informed of any communication from the employee. Keep evidence of the contact established.